Hey everybody, welcome to Coda Essentials. My name is Maria Marquis, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about buttons and controls. These building blocks allow you to create interactivity inside of your docs and also make it more intuitive and stress-free for the people who are, not you, interacting with them. So let's take a look at how this can really make a doc come to life and become a little bit more like an app. So here we are, we've got my task table. And of course, folks can scroll to the bottom and click on new row to add a task, but maybe that's not right clear from the very beginning. So I can add a button that shows people how to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and type slash and button and choose new button, just like so. And now I have the buttons menu. Here is where I can really customize it to make it do what I want it to do. So we'll call this the task button, and then I can decide what should the button's label be. In this case, I wanna make it super clear that you will add a task to our tracker. Oh, but we should spell it correctly. There we go. Now I decide what is the action that this button should take. In this case, I wanted to add a row to the table below. But notice there are lots of other options for this button's action. We can copy the doc, we can modify rows, we can delete rows, we can open a hyperlink to somewhere else, we can push other buttons, lots and lots of options. But right now, I just want to add a row. Then I decide which table should that row go to, and of course, it should go to our task table. Now what we can do is we can have some preset values. So maybe if someone pushes this button, I want that new task to automatically be assigned to them. So I could choose, all right, look at that assigned to column, and I'm gonna say, make it equal to the user. So whoever pushes this button, boop, that's gonna be what shows up. And now I can decide to open the row for editing, which means that it's just gonna pop it up in a form-like experience where people can enter in the details of the row. And then the most important question is what color should this button be? Which of course it will be green and it will have this check mark, but you can really make this be whatever you like. So now if I push on this button, boop, it's gonna pop it up. This is what open row for editing means. It shows me that full row information. I can then say, give Laura a high five. And then of course the team, I can say it's the mapping team. This is not started yet. And this should be due by the end of next week. And we can even show the hidden columns to see what else is going on there and add that as well. But now we've got that new task added to our tracker right there. Give Laura a high five, double exclamation point. So this button has now streamlined that particular process and made it really easy for people to interact with this table. But sometimes we also wanna get information from a table too. And that's where controls can really come and help out and make that interactivity come alive. Because maybe we don't have a view built for that specific question that somebody has. Well, we can use controls to fill that gap. So with controls, you can add them in two different ways. And I'm gonna show you both just so you can pick which one you like best. So the first one is by typing slash and adding control. Notice all of the different control types we have, select lists, check boxes, date ranges, scales, sliders. You can really create your own customized dashboard with all those little bells and whistles you might want. In this case, I'm gonna choose a select list and I'm gonna name it the uh, teammate select list. And then I could enter in the select list items here automatically, but I actually wanna pull information from my task table. So I'm gonna choose this F right there, and I can say, all right, go to that task table, and then uh, pull all of the values that are in that team area, because I want this to be the team dropdown menu. Now I could toggle on multiple selections if I want to, just by doing so, so we can select multiple teams when we're searching, and I can also adjust some of the other settings by how I want things to be sorted. So now let's go ahead and add a little information. Select a team you want to view. Again, making it really easy for the folks on my team to understand what this does. I'm gonna go ahead and bold that. And now I've got this control, this drop down menu shows me all of the teams, but if I want to now connect this control with the table. So what I'll do is I'll go here to filter. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just clear out this older stuff. There we go. I'm gonna add a new filter and we're going to have it be to the team column. And instead of choosing is any of, I'm gonna choose uses interactive filter. And then I just select my teammate selector. Now notice we see um, everything's been filtered out of this view because I have no team selected. But if I choose sensors, boom, I get all of the sensors information. So that's one way, create the control connected to the table. 
But maybe you're like, but what if I have a table and I know what I want already? That's okay too. Maybe you wanna do a similar thing for your assign to option. So you can actually start at the table to create the control as well, which is my preferred method. You just click on the little menu at the top, choose filter, and instead of add filter and going through the process before, you choose interactive filter and then just create control and Coda automatically does all of the configuration behind the scene. So now we have our assigned to, and maybe I wanna see all of the tasks assigned to, uh, in this case, Maria on the sensors team. And I see everything. And I could then adjust it here, also with the industrial design. And maybe I also wanna see Laura's tasks as well. And notice we now have this interactive dashboard that lets folks explore the data on their own terms. So now it's your turn. Take a look at your Coda docs, add a couple buttons, add some controls, and see how your team starts to take flight. All right, I'll see you next time.